What's going on guys? Noah here with Northern Scavenger. I got word of this abandoned cabin deep on this logging road. I got my Toyota Matrix as far as I could. It's about a 12 kilometer hike to this cabin from here. I don't know what state the cabin's in, but that's what we're gonna find out today. I was getting cold. The last hour or so was on this really tight path and there was just so much brush that was wet and it absolutely soaked me. And I started getting really cold. So if this place didn't exist, I would have been in a pretty bad situation. This is a pretty nasty spot, I'm not gonna lie. I feel really uncomfortable about sleeping on a mattress. So I don't know what I'm gonna do there. I'm just happy to be out of the rain right now. This cabin's not in the worst shape. Areas that haven't been water damaged, the wood's still good. But the chimney and the leaky roof, as well as the stove, all need to be replaced. I recently discovered these chocolate dipped Oreos from Bulk Barn, and each Oreo is 180 calories. If I stack three, that's the same size as a chocolate bar, but we're looking at almost three times as much calories, which is big bang for your buck. There doesn't seem to be any obstructions within the stove pipe. It's just really rusty and wet.
Well, it's 6.30 and it's still light outside. Makes you really happy. My oil froze. salt, a little pepper, and a few chili flakes. Before we get too deep into the day, I want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is AG1. Typically in our daily life, we get our macronutrients, but it's a lot harder to get your full spectrum of micronutrients, which help you feel better and perform better. Long before AG1 approached me, we've been using these nutritional supplements on our long expeditions when we're not necessarily eating the best out there. There's 75 ingredients of minerals, whole food source products, and vitamins and probiotics, and it helps me feel like my bases are covered. Within the formula, there's also ingredients that help support a healthy immune system. And this time of year, there's so many sick babies out there coughing on people. You wanna make sure you have a little more protection. You can mix AG1 right into a drink, but I prefer putting it into my oatmeal. It's great, especially when I'm camping with these travel packs right into my oatmeal. It's a one-stop shop. If you're interested in trying AG1 out, you could use the link in my description or you could scan the barcode that is, should be right here. With your first order, you also get a year supply of vitamin K2 and D3, which helps with your cardiovascular system, bone health and immune system, as well as five free travel packs of these bad boys. Try it out, big fan, AG1. Might have overcooked the steak a bit. I have a tendency to do that, but this is gonna be delicious. I love steak. It's been a while, my friend. See you tomorrow. Morning. I slept like 11 hours last night. I'm gonna try my best today to patch some of the leaks up there. I'm gonna have to do an inventory of what I have. I've noticed there's thousands and thousands of nails lying around, but there's no hammer. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day out there. I think I see blue sky on the horizon, which can be a excellent change compared to the crappy weather we had yesterday.
My intent coming back here was to take trees that have already fallen, but looking at the forest here, it's a mix of old growth and new growth. You can see here how tight and thin all these trees are. All these trees are fighting for resources. You know, like growing a garden, you wanna thin out your vegetables so you have less vegetables that grow strong rather than having all scraggly vegetables. So I'm gonna take one or two of these three to four inch diameter pine trees.
pretty hack job. And that was a really awkward spot with the piece of wood I have. I got enough purchase that I think it's gonna hold. For lunch today, I have peanut butter and jam and butter sandwiches. It's a triple decker. And this is about 1000 calories. About a month ago, I was planning a large winter trip with Tristan and Jan up in Northern Quebec, but the weather never cooperated, so we had to bail. But I already prepped all my food, including these bad boys. Whoever built this cabin picked a really nice spot. The lake and surrounding landscape is full of eskers, including two really obvious ones that cut across the lake. I don't feel comfortable going on the roof, so I'm going to do as much as I can from the ladder. I found a stove pipe cap and aluminum foil. All right guys, I think that's as solid as I'm gonna get it. It's better than it was before, but it's still pretty rudimentary. This isn't a fix, this is a band-aid, but I'm happy with what I did with what I had around the camp. Well, that was an action-packed day. The weather really turned around and it was pretty productive. Fixed the roof, hung out in a new spot. Overall, very successful. I was planning on staying the night, but looking at the weather, tomorrow there's gonna be lots of rain and it's gonna be around zero degrees. So I'm opting to leave tonight and beat that rain tomorrow. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys love the content, please consider subscribing. It helps a lot with the channel. And this year, I'm really gonna put a lot more effort into it. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.